Jenny, come on. You're going to miss it. Tell them to start without me. I need to check on Marie. She'll be fine. You don't need to check on her every five minutes. Come on, it's starting. <sighs> okay, you're right. For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here, in Daily View. is all the commotion. Oh. Now where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. I need my camera. Now, I can get a closer look. What on earth is all the commotion? Harold Levy owns most of the flats in Daily View. I wonder if he saw something. Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my neighbors better. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Her office overlooks the courtyard. Old Mrs. Doer. She's usually peering through her window watching our neighbors. It's past her bedtime. Mm. 
might have to zoom in a little further. Smashed plant pot. I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window sooner. Might have to zoom in for a closer look. Oh, that's Tony Morgan's blood. My God, I, I hope he's all right. Please let him be all right. Chloroform? What on earth? Bound during your production? Dear God, Charlotte May. Mr. Morgan's daughter uh, has been kidnapped. <laughs> A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't bear thinking about? Imagine if it was Catherine. The time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know. years old. Why would someone want to take her? It doesn't make any sense. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened. They're looking for a kidnapper. A search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley, she owns the pub across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Not much. That's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Doer. She knows everything that goes on here. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much, love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. Oh, blast. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Oh, so the kidnapper smashed this during the altercation. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. Uh, 
Good evening, Mr. Levy. Evening. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on your doorstep. You ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you see what happened at all? Nah. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. I hope they're going to clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. I'm sure this must be a great inconvenience to you. Huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. Keep it that way, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, may I ask what you were doing tonight? No. Way, may I have a moment? Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? She is. Here, I found this. this then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her mitts on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. Did you see anything else to do? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch. Who would tie up a small child? Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? But not everyone in Daily of You is as they seem, Mr. Conway. Uh, Miss Downs, who are you referring to? That son of a bitch right there, with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy? <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight, but no other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search. Oh, there's Mr. Morgan. Hello, Mr. Morgan. My name is Robert Conway. I live in flat 23. Yes, uh, I've seen you around, Mr. Conway. Well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be content just to stare. 
I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Very kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course, I understand. The police officer you spoke to was most likely my daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself, so I know how her mind works. Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services too, if you'd permit me. That's very kind, but I, I don't have money, I'm afraid. Oh, Mr. Morgan, no. I'm a father myself. I meant to say that I'm at your disposal. Very generous, but the police said that... All I'd be doing is observing and talking to people. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with Catherine. Catherine? Uh, my daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. That reminds me. I have this brooch. Does this mean anything to you? That's Charlotte Mays. And you see how the simplest detail can be overlooked. Even by the police. Best to have as many eyes on the case, in my experience. I see your point. May I have it back, please? Would you mind if I kept onto it for a day or so? In case it proves to have some use. Y yes, of, of course. If you think it would help. I would very much like you to return it, though. As soon as I have something to report back to you. You have my word. So, where do you suppose you'd begin? Well, right here. I in daily view? Yes. It's my experience that it's usually someone who knows the victim. But do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbours has my girl? No, no. no I I'm merely saying that it's a logical place to start. Now I see. That's why the police search my house. Because I'm a suspect. I suppose. That's the way it works, I'm sorry to say. So they're not even looking for the real kidnapper? I can assure you they will be. Tell me, Mr. Conway, and be honest. Are you going to look for my girl? I promise you, I'll stop at nothing until I find her. For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have taken Charlotte May. I don't know. Think. Anyone or anything at all. Mr. Conway, who do you know who could do such a thing? I see your point. Well, for now, perhaps try to get some rest. Charlotte May needs you to be stronger. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Moore. Good night. And good luck. Good night, Mr. Conway. shouldn't be here, what with you living so close. Conflict of interest and all. Are you finished here? Almost, yes. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I really get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? I'm not allowed to tell you. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the Pinewoods? 
Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead end. We're clueless, but we can't be seen to be doing nothing. And the locals suggested the woods, so... Dear God. I perhaps wonder if I should talk to my neighbours again. Hang again? Y yes, Catherine, I've been thinking, and... Dad! What? I know this is happening on your doorstep, but please, don't get any ideas. Well, I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. You don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police have any ideas? Dad, I mean it. Don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help you. I want to do this on my own. I, I didn't realize what this means to you. I meant to say, I want to do it the right way. By the book. Please promise me. Okay. I, I promise. I'll leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Please go back inside. You'll catch a chill. Night, my love. Night, Dad. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can tell how serious she is about her case. I've never seen her so driven. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I might have captured something that the police did not. And I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat and out of the way.